Day number six, I guess we're on, and this morning's adventure is Ripple Rock Trail. We're going to give that a whirl. It, uh, what, what do they list it as? Um, from, oh, here, trail facts. Uh, we're looking at five miles, and hike time's about three hours. Some say four hours, because it can be pretty treacherous a little bit. So we'll give it a whirl and it goes into the channel between two islands and they say if you're lucky you can get really close to the cruise ships that go through this little channel. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do first thing this morning. Wait. Yeah, another stairway to heaven. Somehow I'm not keeping my balance today. Wait! This is uh, quite a little trail. Goes up through the rocks on the side of the mountain face. And as usual, I'm huffing and puffing through the video. Sounds kind of creepy when I play it back and listen to myself. So they're doing some uh, trail maintenance. And it looks like they're building a new bridge. So I got to give these guys credit. Coming up into the middle of nowhere. And doing this for our enjoyment. But you know. Uh, what a great job that would be. You guys are going to get a treat. Out of here, and this is an overlook of the harbor on the edge of a uh, rock face, rock cliff. I guess, whatever. Ooh, it's making me dizzy. Whoa, yeah, I don't think I want to fall down. It's freaking me out. I have a nice view on the edge of this rock face. Very, very pretty. It's a nice hike. But my legs are tired from it. But oh my god, just don't fall off the edge. Look at, look, 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 look. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. It's a very steep drop. Right off the rock. But that's okay, my name is Danger, right? Yeah, yeah, wee oui, wee. Oui. Danger. His name is Danger. La di da di da. Like when they said this trail was straight up, they definitely meant it. And it's straight up around this tree. Holy mother. Freaking crazy. Look at this. Oh man, it's a good thing I'm not in the yeah. Not in the jungle, right? So anyway, pretty amazing. Keep going. Keep chugging along. Choo woo! Bye, George. I think we've made the end of the trail. How about that? So, this is the position between, whoops, staggering like I'm drunk. So this is between the two islands, Quadra Island and the one I'm on now, Vancouver Island. And they have a electrical power tower here. For electricity. So, wow. Very nice. And the rapids, wow, they, they, the water looks to be going pretty fast here. I guess that's a result of it narrowing down. So I should probably further add while I'm up here that this is only one of two inlets, I guess, for lack of wording, or, or two passes that whales can go through on their migration to Alaska. They would either have to go through this one or on the other side of that island. Because this is where the ferries go through, or not the ferries, the cruise ships go through 
en route to Alaska and Juneau and everywhere up there so so we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and see what happens Yeah, the trail definitely has some uh, challenges and a lot of it is like this, very steep and rugged, so and I'm enjoying every minute of it. And there is a light rain coming, you know what? It feels awesome. Damn awesome. I wonder what happened to the guy who left uh, this shirt. I wonder if he got eaten by a bear and attacked or not, actually. A lot of flattened uh, plants there, so maybe. You know what? You know what? You might find it hard to believe, but after walking for about an hour now, my feet are still dry after walking in the rain, wearing these shoes. The bottoms might be a bit tingly, but not the tops. All right, it is night number six on this leg of my trip and Walmart parking lot we're gonna camp out here for the main reason being that there's a few campers here still same guys as last night so a couple bigger motorhome RVs back there and um, and Mimi so last night was quiet and wasn't bothered and there's a community here so somewhat safe even though I never worry about safe too much because yeah just uh, yeah no reason and uh, we're gonna call it a night I'm uh, uploading one of my latest videos from Nanaimo and I'm listening to some of Robert Sharma stuff Robin Sharma, did I say that right? And I love his work for the mere fact that he's a very inspiring individual. And uh, this one here is talks about how to be a genius communicator. And a lot of what he talks about, I'm gonna turn the camera around again. A lot of what he talks about uh, also was talked about in my business management classes uh somewhat and the one of the biggest steps to being a good communicator and a successful person is listening skills be a good listener the best listener because that's one of the first things uh getting input from others and learning how to manage and lead and be a great leader so and i highly believe in that and most of the business management classes, and, and for that matter, even uh, speaking classes that I've taken, say there's four stages to communication. That is giving the message, the person giving the message, thinking the message, giving it, the other person receiving the message, taking it in, and then giving feedback or response. So, yeah, but anyways, I'm rambling because uh, of whatever reason. So, anyways, uh, thanks for following, guys. I appreciate everything, and have a good night.